Are you curious about the story of one of the most influential tech companies of our time? Have you ever wondered how Google became a household name, shaping the way we access and share information? But what about the controversies that followed their success? From privacy concerns to accusations of bias, Google faced a series of ethical dilemmas that tested its values. Join us on this intriguing exploration of Google's journey as we uncover some scandals of this tech giant. Welcome to our channel, where we delve into the captivating and contentious world of tech giants. Let's get started. It was in the year 2010 when Google's Street View cars, on their mission to capture street images for mapping purposes, inadvertently stumbled upon something far more intrusive – private data transmitted over unsecured Wi-Fi networks. As these Street View cars roamed the streets, their technology inadvertently intercepted fragments of unencrypted data from Wi-Fi networks in the vicinity. This data, which included snippets of personal information such as emails and passwords, raised immediate and legitimate concerns about privacy invasion. The discovery of this unintended data collection sent shockwaves through the tech community and beyond. Individuals and privacy advocates voiced their concerns over the potential misuse of such sensitive information. It sparked a heated debate on the boundaries of data collection and the responsibility of companies like Google to protect the privacy of their users. Google, in response to the outcry, acknowledged the incident and claimed that the data collection was unintentional. They emphasized that the Street View cars were primarily designed to capture images and had inadvertently picked up snippets of data due to technical oversights. Nevertheless, the incident raised serious questions about the practices and safeguards in place to protect user privacy. It served as a wake-up call for both Google and the broader industry, highlighting the need for stronger privacy protocols and ensuring that users' personal information remains secure. As a result of this incident, Google faced investigations and legal challenges from various authorities around the world. It prompted the company to reevaluate its data collection practices, implement stricter privacy measures, and enhance transparency in how user data is handled. In 2017, the European Commission took a decisive stance on this matter, imposing a substantial fine of 2.42 billion euros on Google. The Commission found evidence that Google had been prioritizing its shopping service in search results, which they argued limited consumers' options and impeded fair competition. While Google vehemently denied these claims, the fine triggered a broader conversation about the power wielded by tech giants and their impact on the digital marketplace. Many question whether Google's algorithms truly provided an unbiased platform for users seeking information or whether they subtly tilted the scales in favor of Google's services. The unveiling of Google's China-specific censored search engine in 2018 triggered widespread anger. Both external stakeholders and Google's employees were outraged by the revelation. Critics contended that complying with China's internet censorship policies jeopardized Google's dedication to freedom of information and human rights. Google's employees voiced their dissent, protesting against the company's participation in creating a search engine that would facilitate censorship and restrict information accessibility. The intense scrutiny and internal dissent eventually led to the discontinuation of Project Dragonfly. Google's decision to halt the project reflected the complexities and ethical dilemmas faced by tech companies when operating in countries with different standards and policies. Project Dragonfly served as a stark reminder of the moral and ethical considerations that tech giants like Google must navigate as they expand into new markets. It raised critical questions about the responsibility of these companies to uphold principles of transparency, human rights, and free access to information. In 
In 2018, an investigative report by the New York Times exposed Google's payment of millions in exit packages to male executives accused of harassment, all while keeping the transgressions shrouded in secrecy. The New York Times report shed light on a significant disparity in how Google addressed such serious allegations, fueling widespread criticism. The revelation struck at the heart of corporate culture and gender dynamics, prompting a moment of reckoning within the company and beyond. In response to the report, thousands of Google employees organized a global walkout, demanding sweeping changes in how the company handled sexual misconduct allegations. The protest reverberated across headlines in social media, igniting a broader conversation about workplace harassment, accountability, and the role of technology companies in fostering safe and inclusive environments. The walkout proved to be a turning point, compelling Google to reevaluate its policies and take decisive action. The company announced a series of measures aimed at enhancing transparency, improving reporting channels, and addressing the systemic issues that perpetuate harassment. Google's response to the public outcry signified a commitment to fostering a more inclusive and supportive workplace culture. However, it also highlighted the challenges faced by organizations in combating harassment and creating environments where all employees feel safe and respected. During the year 2018, an investigation carried out by the Associated Press exposed a concerning revelation. Google's services were found to be storing users' location data even when users had specifically disabled the location history feature. The discovery triggered a wave of backlash from users and privacy advocates who felt betrayed by Google's actions. Concerns were raised regarding the extent to which personal information was being collected and utilized without explicit consent, eroding the trust users had placed in the company. In response to the backlash, Google faced the urgent need to clarify its settings and reassure users about their control over their location data. The company implemented changes to its user interface and provided clearer expectations of its location tracking practices, striving to rebuild trust and restore confidence in its commitment to user privacy. The episode served as a reminder of the ongoing battle between convenience and privacy in the digital age. It prompted individuals and advocates to be more vigilant about their data privacy and raised broader questions about the ethical responsibilities of tech companies when it comes to handling and protecting user information. Even though Google is well known for its dedication to workplace innovation and employee well-being, Jigsaw came under scrutiny after employees complained of a poisonous work atmosphere. The allegations included accusations of sexism and a leader who prioritized public appearances over product development. These revelations shed light on the challenges that even prominent tech giants like Google face in fostering a healthy and inclusive workplace culture. The reports resonated with the experiences commonly shared by employees in other tech startups, challenging the notion that Google was immune to such issues. The revelations sparked conversations about the broader industry and the systemic problems that persist despite claims of progress and innovation. The allegations against Jigsaw not only exposed the shortcomings within the company, but also served as a wake-up call for Google and the tech industry as a whole. It prompted a re-evaluation of policies and practices, aiming to address the toxic elements that hindered progress and undermined employee well-being. The episode highlighted the ongoing journey toward creating equitable workplaces within the tech industry. It emphasized the need for continuous introspection and improvement to ensure that companies align their actions with their stated values, fostering environments where all employees can thrive and contribute their best.
accusations have swirled around the company, suggesting that it has employed complex strategies to avoid paying its fair share of taxes. In 2016, Google agreed to pay 130 million pounds in back taxes to the UK government. However, critics argued that this amount fell far short of what the company truly owed, sparking a fierce debate over tax fairness and corporate responsibility. The accusations directed at Google ignited discourse about the ethical implications of multinational corporations engaging in tax avoidance practices. Many questioned whether the existing tax frameworks adequately addressed the complexities of the digital economy and whether companies should be held to a higher standard of fiscal responsibility. The case of Google's tax avoidance has prompted governments and policymakers to reevaluate and strengthen tax regulations, seeking to close loopholes and ensure that companies contribute their fair share to society. It has become a focal point in the broader conversation about income inequality and the distribution of wealth. While Google has maintained that it operates within the bounds of existing tax laws, the controversy surrounding its tax practices has spurred calls for greater transparency and accountability in corporate tax affairs. Critics argue that Google has not done enough to prevent the dissemination of false information, inflammatory rhetoric, and harmful content within its vast ecosystem. The company has grappled with the delicate balance between freedom of expression and the responsibility to ensure a safe and trustworthy digital environment. The debate surrounding Google's content moderation practices has intensified as the impact of misinformation on public discourse and societal well-being has become more apparent. The company continually faces the daunting task of developing and refining algorithms and policies to detect and remove harmful content while avoiding undue censorship. The journey to combat misinformation and promote responsible content dissemination is an ongoing one. It requires the collective efforts of technology companies, policymakers, and society at large to cultivate an informed and inclusive digital landscape where credible information prevails. In 2018, a software glitch in the Google Plus social network led to the exposure of private profile data for up to 500,000 users. This incident raised concerns about the protection of personal information and the potential misuse of sensitive data. Google swiftly responded to the breach, addressing the technical issue and taking steps to enhance its security protocols. The incident served as a reminder of the constant need for vigilance and continuous improvement in safeguarding user data in an increasingly digital world. As technology continues to advance, data security remains a paramount concern for individuals and organizations alike. Google's experiences underscore the importance of robust security measures, privacy-enhancing practices, and transparency in handling and protecting user information. On January 24, 2023, the United States Department of Justice DOJ, filed an antitrust case against Google LLC, accusing the tech giant of illegally monopolizing the advertising technology ad tech market. The suit alleges that Google's actions violate Sections 1 and 2 of the Sherman Antitrust Act of 1890. It is important to note that this lawsuit is separate from another ongoing DOJ antitrust case launched in 2020, which accused Google of illegally monopolizing the search engine market. The legal battlefield for this case is the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Arkansas. The ultimate goal of the lawsuit is to compel Google to divest significant portions of its ad tech business and implement changes to cease certain business practices. To put things into perspective, by 2021, Google's ad tech division had become the company's second largest business, generating a staggering $31.7 billion in revenue. This level of dominance has drawn attention and scrutiny from antitrust enforcers. Jonathan Cantor, the assistant attorney general for the antitrust division, made a striking comparison. Liking Google's control over the ad tech market, 
to a situation in which financial powerhouses like Goldman Sachs or Citibank own the New York Stock Exchange. This analogy underscores the immense influence Google holds in the digital advertising ecosystem and highlights the concerns raised by the DOJ. It's not just the DOJ taking action against Google's alleged dominance. During the 117th United States Congress, a bipartisan coalition of U.S. Senators introduced legislation aimed at breaking up not only Google, but also other big tech companies that are believed to exert substantial control over the market. The legislation, known as the Advertising Middlemen Endangering Rigorous Internet Competition Accountability America Act, gained significant attention and was reintroduced in the 118th Congress. As the United States vs. Google LLC case unfolds, the tech industry eagerly awaits the outcome, as it could potentially reshape the landscape of digital advertising and have far-reaching implications for other dominant players. On April 20, 2016, the European Union made a formal antitrust complaint against Google, specifically targeting the company's control over Android vendors. The EU alleged that Google's mandatory bundling of its proprietary software hindered the integration of competing search providers into Android devices. Additionally, the complaint highlighted that Google barred vendors from producing devices running forks of Android, which constituted anti-competitive practices. Following the investigation, the European Commission took action. In June 2018, Google was hit with a massive $5 billion fine, reflecting the severity of the April 2016 complaints. This landmark decision signaled the European Union's commitment to addressing antitrust concerns and holding dominant tech companies accountable. Not only did Google face scrutiny in Europe, but also in Russia. In August 2016, the Russian Federal Anti-Monopoly Service FAS, fined Google $6.75 million under similar allegations brought forward by Yandex, a prominent Russian search engine. This case demonstrated that Google's practices faced scrutiny beyond the borders of the European Union. Moving to India, another significant development took place. On April 16, 2018, Umar Javid, Sukarma Thapar, Akib Javid versus Google LLC and ORS led to the Competition Commission of India ordering a wider probe investigation into Google's alleged illegal business practices related to Android. The CCI directed its investigations arm to complete the probe within 150 days, recognizing that such cases typically take years to resolve. Furthermore, the role of any Google executive involved in the alleged abuse of the Android platform was also to be examined. A tweet by Emily McManus, managing editor for TED.com, sparked an important discussion back in 2013. She encountered an incident while searching for an English major who taught herself calculus on Google. Surprisingly, the search engine suggested, did you mean English major who taught himself calculus? This raised concerns about gender bias, as it assumed the default gender for individuals teaching themselves calculus to be male. Google responded directly to McManus, explaining that the phrase taught himself calculus appeared much more frequently in online content compared to taught herself calculus, which accounted for the suggestion. They also emphasized their commitment to promoting diversity and inclusivity in STEM fields, acknowledging the importance of addressing gender disparities. In 2015, a troubling incident involving Google Photos surfaced. A user tweeted a screen grab showing that Google Photos had mistakenly tagged two African-American people as gorillas. This incident highlighted a significant flaw in the image recognition algorithms used by Google. Google swiftly responded, expressing its deep regret and stating that they were appalled and genuinely sorry for the incident. They acknowledged the need for immediate action and committed to working on long-term fixes to prevent such occurrences in the future. 
A subsequent investigation by Wired revealed that Google had implemented measures to censor searches for terms like gorilla, chimp, chimpanzee, and monkey to avoid similar misclassifications. Google's transformative journey unfolds with controversies, including data mishaps and search bias accusations, highlighting the challenges of privacy and accountability, ethical dilemmas like Project Dragonfly, and mishandling harassment claims raise questions about the tech giant's responsibility. Progress lies in introspection, improved practices, and a commitment to user privacy in a safe digital environment. Thank you for joining us on this insightful exploration of Google's story. Subscribe to our channel for updates. Keep exploring the captivating world of tech giants. Goodbye.